to open a locked safe, possibly filled with riches. David Pogue tells us you need a pro with exactly the right combination of skills. In the movies, safe cracking looks like this. In real life, it's a little calmer. Alad Israeli is one of New York City's most accomplished safe crackers. It's taken him 15 years to get this good. It is true that you don't know what's inside this safe. I don't. Got it. It's unbelievable. Do the honors. All right. There's a second door. No! Oh, but it's, but it's open. It's another safe! Truth is, almost all the safes he's hired to open turn out to be empty. Goose egg. Sorry, movie screenwriters. In the United States, how many people would you say are at your level? It's probably in the hundreds, somewhere in the hundreds. Out of 100 safes that people hire to open, how many stump you? Zero. <laughs> I'm too well prepared. Watch my finger on the door. Master safe cracker Roy Waters lives in rural Pennsylvania in a house that's practically a museum of safes and locks that he's successfully cracked. You can open almost any safe. Why don't you go to the dark side and be the guy who ah, gets rich? It's not my style. <laughs> you know? I enjoy the people. I enjoy the work. It's exciting to watch safe crackers open safes using what's called manipulation, using touch, sight, and sound as they turn the dial. But there's actually a more common technique. The second way is by drilling a hole into the lock in the safe using a medical grade borescope, viewing the internal mechanism, and then dialing the combination open while you're watching it. Did you eat your Wheaties today? <laughs> yes, sir. There you go. That's how Roy Waters is going to help customer Brett Cunningham, who found this safe in a scrapyard. I can give you a list of people that's given it a whirl to try and get it open themselves. Oh, and, really? Yeah. <laughs> Time for the expert. OK, I decided to drill it right here. And you probably prefer not to have people asking you questions while you're working, right? Oh, no, it don't matter. There you go. I unlock the lock, you open your own safe. Hey, and it's gold bars, <laughs> cash. Empty bank bags. This safe kept Roy busy for a few minutes. But Alad says the cheap safes from home goods stores, not so much. The safes can be forced open in literally 15 seconds. That's not an exaggeration with a couple of 18-inch pry bars. We do it on a regular basis. But with security, you get what you pay for. The less money you spend on the safe, the less security you will get. That is a fact. The art of safe cracking by both locksmiths and criminals has been in decline for 50 years. But for the master safe crackers who remain, the job does have its charms. It seems like for you, the drama is more about opening the safe than what's in it. Oh yeah, forget what's in it. Is being a safe cracker as cool as it seems like it should be? Sometimes it can be very difficult. That challenge is what keeps it interesting.